don't need to look at that. He looks bored. Too bad. <laughs> nope. Okay. Is that a fire exit? Looks like it leads to a fire escape. Should we use it? This is just the fire exit. If I need to leave, I'll go out the way I came in. I can't talk to Joey here. I'll wait until we're alone. Um, are we done here then? Because I think I've exhausted all options. Rosa, you're not leaving now, are you? Um... We were just about to get started on the wine. Why don't you join us? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. Well, please stay. We hardly see enough of each other as it is. Sure. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> of us here. That means it's a party. Pour more of that wine and let's get it started. <sighs> oh, there's something in my eye and suck it, Joey. <laughs> What? Oh my head. What happened? How did I get here? What? How are we here? Is this how your generation treats the duty? What? Who are you? Someone who has been here far too long. I don't understand. It does not matter. We will meet again soon. Continue your sleep. You will forget me when you wake up. Your time will come soon. I just pray that you are ready. Bum, bum, bum. Should mediums not drink? Well, look who's up. Ugh. Enjoyed the free booze a little too much, huh? Blech. Clear the cobwebs, kid. We've got work to do. Yeah, I know. Hang on, there's still something in my eye. <laughs> I got distracted. Ow. Am I being attacked by my own eyelash? What the fuck? Okay, what am I doing now? Let's talk, Joey. What is it? So what should we do now? We might as well talk to that lady we met last night. You do remember her, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Monique something. She had a ghost story to tell. Who knows? It might lead somewhere. Alright. I think my map That's got updated. Sure. Alright, I. What are you doing to me? Let's go. Alright, I'm coming. Yeah, my eye hurts even more, but it seems to be fine. Hi, Monique? Oh, hello. You There's a kitty cat out there! The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Come here, cat. Nice view from up here. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. I don't know what happened. Because I don't exist in your universe. No, Rosangela does. I'm imagining he died. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. 
It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him calling me. Really? It's like he's, well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. You could have just we told us that last night. Today isn't the nicest day for a stroll in the park, but it's not exactly a social call. Bye, lady! Oh, hey, look! I'm gonna save, because sometimes these games crash. What about me? What about me? I knew you'd come. I think that's Frank Lyons. I knew you'd come. different in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. Are you Frank Lyons? Um, oh, haha, ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Could I ask you a couple of- Huh? Oh, come on. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know I- I know you, Vaughn. Look, I- Are you sure that's right? Yes, just- No, let's try- What are you- <clears throat> I knew you- you did? Yes. yes. No, that- Oh, what's not- Never mind. <clears throat> I knew you'd- How did you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne. Fra- Yvonne? Who's Yvonne? Um, you are? <sighs> okay, no problem. We'll just start over. <clears throat> okay. I knew you'd This come. isn't going anywhere. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, God. Let's try. <clears throat> I knew you. Listen, I have to tell you something. No, no, that comes later. Try and concentrate, will you? Let's get through this, and then we can go home. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Okay. Why do you keep repeating yourself? Uh, no, no, that's not right either. What are you talking about? Look, don't worry about it. We can do it again, right? Do what again? Okay, one more time. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. I've got to go. Yeah, you need all the practice you can get. Okay! Damn it, where is that woman? Joey's turn! Young guy, maybe mid-twenties? It's hard to tell. He looks like he's concentrating hard. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? What about me? What about me? Hello? Oh, hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Frank Lyons? Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. Well, it looks like Monique's lead paid off. She told us that Frank Lyons died on of a heart attack while filming his last scene. Uh, what you doing? So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. 
Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've, I've just been, been hanging out here. And uh, before that? I was... Hmm. Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah. I was there. I'm always there. He also looked very frightening when he mentioned the Minetta. Can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't, we can't start, start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I I don't know anything about but why would what exactly start? executive producers if they're required on set, so just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find the willing ear there and some donations for the fun. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking, talking like, like what? Like you... oh, never mind. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on, there's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Okay, um... Well, see you around. Sure. Bye! Bye. Goofy dude. Damn it, where is that woman? I'm going to go pretend like I remember how to spell the Minetta. The hell is that? Is that a pair of glasses and an... I don't know. Say hiding the shanty. Well, let's look up the Minetta. Uh, oh, wait. Uh. Oh, okay, let's read these. Dear Rosangela Blackwell, thank you for minute submitting your rough draft of The Devil and the Deacon to our editor. Unfortunately, we're not looking for ghost stories at this time. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Elizabeth Shire, really day books. Dear Mrs. Blackwell, I just wanted to touch base and see if everything was alright with you and yours. My door is still always open to you if you ever feel the need to chat. All the best, Dr. Donald Quentin. Okay. <laughs> Please be aware that the stay away policy has been put in effect against you and Kelly Hawthorne. Should you harass her further, you will be forced to get police involved. Hello, I don't know who you are, but my daughter Susan insisted I cocktail attack you. She is home and resting and appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends and nearly her life and her mental health is fragile. Now we know. We know. Yep. That looks like something I built back in the day. Um. There was two T's, right? The man is the town of East Village. Okay. Let's go to the Manetta. Let's go to the Manetta. Come on, let's get going. Let's go Hold to the Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. No, well, da 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 da. Looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. It's a portrait of an old man. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. There's nothing but empty tables back there. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. 
I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool. How can I help? I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years, at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. Well. Have you ever been to the park gallery? No, sorry. Bye! The fuck was he talking about the Manetta then? You creepy dude voice. I knew you'd come. No, I knew you'd come. Hello, Frank. Oh, oh hey. hey. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Frank's ghost referred to something called the Joe Gould Fund. Who's Joe Gould? What the fuck is happening to Frank? Could you tell me what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Gould's everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? Who's Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a headache talking to you. Alright. Um, for shits and giggles. You seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. He'll see. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone. Sure thing! Oh, lips are sealed. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. To the computer! I gotta hit. Joe Gould, known as Professor Siegel, West Village Bohemian, was a familiar figure during the 1960s. A regular at the Mineta Tavern, Joe Gould was often homeless and often broke. He claimed he was writing a book entitled The Oral History of the World and spent most of his time soliciting money, the Joel Gould Fund, in order to keep working on it. In reality, the book never existed, but his energy and enthusiasm was said to inspire other writers such as Joseph Mitchell. We know a Joseph Mitchell. Well, our aunt knew a Joseph Mitchell. <laughs> Although, he's probably dead now. Um... Is it raining again? I can't actually look out my tiny ass window. But look, the plant's still fake. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. He's really starting to show his age. Um, let's 
see. Let's go. It's about time. Let's scram. Oh look, it's raining on this screen too. Knows anything about Joel Cullen. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Oh, you can. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. Yeah. Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me. Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. Well, scratch Joey. If you can, somehow. Hey, little fella. Okay. Um. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your sure. bag. Sure. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Also, it was Frank's cat, so the address on the ID tag should be out. Hopefully, be, should hopefully be his. Okay, now we know where Frank lives. Cause that's totally what I came here for. Well, this is a shithole. Oh, that's amazing music. Locked. Joey. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Looks like a food and water bowl for the cat. Oh, there's still some food left in there. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Looks like a film script. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I knew you were gone. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. I'm about going to leave in a minute. I'm not going. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. I wonder if we need to finish the scene with him. There's nothing in there but junk. A bunch of magazines related to the film biz. Celebrity gossip, most likely. It's nice to see that some things never change. It looks like a still from a moving picture. I think I recognize Frank in the background. I think this is called a VHS tape. It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. The latest thing with the internet? Because it was the latest thing before the internet. Oh, look at all the kitty stuff. Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to <laughs> Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. Frank's television. Cold and silent. Okay, I think that's all we can really ascertain from there. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movies since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. Nope, I can't leave this joint unless she goes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those old f I didn't mean to right click. I think. Is that right? 
We need to finish the scene. Hi again. I knew you'd come. Could I ask you a cup? Huh? Oh come, let's try. Oops. <clears throat> I knew you. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. Um... I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? Listen to me, I'm trying to help Whoops. you. Whoops! Help no. me? No. I'm not the- Never mind. <clears throat> I knew you. Damn it! How did you know I'd come? I know you. Could I ask you a couple? Huh? Oh, Whoops. Come, let's no. try. <clears throat> I knew you. How did you- I know you. Could I ask you a- Huh? Oh, no. Nope. Let's try. <clears throat> I knew you. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um... Uh, um... Tom? 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 What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne! Wait! Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne? Alright! Finished! Finally! Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is... everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? Guys, I don't feel so good. Monique? What do I do now? Guys, I don't feel so good. Monique? What do I do now? Something wrong, Frank? I... I'm not sure. Everyone was here just a minute ago. Were they? Of course they were. I finished the scene with Rebecca and then... Something's not right. Something... is not... right. I was here... Filming the scene, something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so. And you have no legs. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax, and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. 